Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a video for you today and uh, it's all about baby boots and I already have two videos on my channel that um, I show you how to knit baby boots but these these ones are a bit lighter so we're dealing with fingering um, very very light DK weight uh, merino wool and I think they're better for spring summer and even for winter for like in the house because a uh, like a um, sports weight or a worsted weight sock it's a bit um, too warm I think for a little baby so uh, for this particular one I'm using drops baby merino and uh, the recommended needle size is three millimeter. However, I use 2.5 to create a, a bit of a denser fabric. So I have the Chowgu needles here in 2.5 millimeters. And this, for this size, uh, which would be uh, zero to six months maybe, um, the measurement is four inches yeah about four inches and the cuff is about two inches and the length yeah the length of the foot is about four about four inches obviously you can make them as big or as small as you want it's all about how many stitches you cast on and um how many uh, rows you work on the top of the foot so uh, I have a paper here and I would like to just show you a little bit of um, what the construction is so let's see if I'm yeah so you start here with the cuff like this and for this particular one I did 36 stitches and then I knitted in the flat the cuff which is about two inches high in two by two rib then I divided these 36 stitches um, into three so we have 12 stitches 12 stitches 12 stitches and the foot of the sock is knitted on 12 stitches and 21 rows and then you want to pick up 10 stitches on this side work your way to the end of the round when you come back you will be knitting 12 plus 10 plus 12 then you pick up 10 more stitches here and then 12 stitches here so you have 56 stitches all together like this and then you will have um, a couple of decreases here a couple of decreases here at the back and then we finish this sew with the kitchener stitch so I will show you step by step of how to knit this and how to pretty much adjust so if you would like to make a bigger pair then um, you add either eight stitches or 12 stitches um, depending how big you want the sock to be and obviously once you finish the cuff you divide it by three obviously if you can't divide your total by three at least these two should be the same and this one slightly narrower than the sides it's all to do with mathematics I will try to write a PDF pattern for different sizes but that will be a while because it takes a while to, <laughs> to write a pattern and design a pattern but for this particular video I just wanted to show you the basic of knitting this um, cuff down baby boots um, and how to adjust them according to the size that you want to knit so I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to start with a cast on Let's put these little baby socks here. So I'm going to use my Chowgu 
circular needles. You can't really use DPNs for this because you need to put your stitches on the cable. So using the long tail cast on, I'm going to cast on 36 stitches. I usually like to cast on on double needles like this. So first of all, I'm going to have, this is the tail and this is the working yarn. I'm going to lay like this on my hand, put my finger underneath and twist and then reach through to pick the tail and pull it. And that is a slip knot. And then I'm going to put both of my needles through that slip knot and that is my first stitch. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger like this and I'm going to put my thumb underneath the tail and then going under, grabbing my working yarn, coming through, that's one. The same, under, grab my working yarn, bring it through and pull. If you would like a slow demonstration of the long tail cast on, I will pop a link down below. So far, I'm just going to go fast. Right, so I have um, 36 stitches here. So you would like to cast on a multiple of four because we work a two by two rib. So I'm going to pull my needle out and then I'm going to start knitting. So I do knit two, purl two all the way to the end. And put my uh, needle through. So I'm going to knit. Knit two, bring the arm forward to purl two. Knit two, yarn forward to purl two. Knit two, yarn forward to purl two. So you want to continue working ribbon for about two inches or an inch and a half maybe and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So as you can see here I finished the ribbing and this is what it looks like. It's quite stretchy and I've worked about two inches of ribbing. Now we're going to divide our work into three and you want to start that onto the right side. So because I have 36 stitches, I'm going to do 12, 12, 12. So I'm going to count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Then I'm going to put a marker there. And these uh, safety pin bulb markers are very good for this. Then I'm going to do the same. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And I'm going to put a marker there. There we go. And now what you want to do is work the foot in the middle, which is this one, for 21 rows. So right side row knit, a wrong side row um, purl. And you always want to slip the first stitch when you work that. I'll show you why when we pick up stitches. So it's a little bit like the gusset I guess the heel flap and gusset so I'm going to start by knitting up to my first marker so I'm going to slip the first stitch and knit to the first marker I'm going to slip that marker and I'm just going to work these stitches between the blue markers so I'm going to slip the first stitch and then knit all the way to my other marker. Then 
then I'm going to turn my work. And now I'm going to purl. So I'm going to slip the first stitch, then I'm going to purl all the way to my blue marker. One more stitch. So that is row number two. I'm going to turn my work and do the same thing again. I'm going to slip the first stitch, then I'm going to knit to my blue marker. Obviously if you would like you could put these stitches on a um, stitch holder but I think it's too much of a faff so it's easier just to keep them there. You've got the markers so you know your work is going to go forward. Turn your work, slip the first stitch and purl. So we just work on these 12 stitches for 21 rows and I will let you do that while I do it off camera and then I'll show you what we do next. There we go. So continue working. Let me show you what it will look what it looks like. Put it on the cable here. So we're going to continue working only on these 12 stitches for 21 rows and that's when we're going to pick up stitches and kind of knit this garter part of the sock. All right, so I'm nearly finished. I've got one more round uh, row, row 21, but this is what it looks like. So you've got the two parts that you left behind and the foot flap pretty much that we've knitted this way. So now I'm ready for row 21 and to pick up stitches for the foot. So I'm going to slip first stitch and then knit to the end of this uh, 12 stitch section. There we go. And I can take this marker off now, I don't need it. But I'm going to have to start picking stitches on the edge of the flap that I just knitted and you want to turn your work like this and we slipped every first stitch of every row which made this column of V's you can see them going that way we're going to go between the two legs of each V to pick up 10 stitches so I'm going to hold my yarn like this and with this needle, I leave this needle to the side, the left needle, but with the right needle, I'm going to go in between the first two legs, the first V in between both legs and pull the yarn through. Same. That's two stitches. Three stitches. Four stitches, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one is here, ten. So now we picked up ten stitches, so we've got twelve plus ten and twelve here that we're going to go and just knit all the way to the end. So this is what we look at now. Now we're going to turn our work and go back 
to this place and then we're going to pick up stitches here. But this, this time we're going to start knitting garter stitch. So I'm not going to do pearl rows. I'm just going to do knit rows from now on. So I'm going to knit all the way to the end of the flap here where we're going to pick up stitches. So just quick knit all the way there. It should be 34 stitches. There we go. And now we're going to do the same, but this time I'm going to pull the needle out so I've got more flexibility on picking up my stitches. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the V's. Can you see the V's? And we're going to pick up 10 stitches in those V's. Between both legs, I'm going to go in, pick up one stitch, two stitches. Three stitches, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And as you can see, this um, column of V's on this side, they're going to be a bit. Uh, more uh, visible than this side because on this side we picked up from the right side on this side we picked up from the wrong side but it's not a big difference that you would have to cut your yarn and start from the beginning of the round um, so I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible once we finish picking up the 10 stitches we're gonna knit all the way to the end of our row and this is what our sock looks like at the moment let me put it all on the cable so it's easier to show so this is what we're working with so I'm going to start to knit uh, back and forth on these on on this uh, so right side knit wrong side knit right side knit wrong side knit until um, we've got one two three four five six ridges of garter stitch and then we're going to do the sole so I'm going to quickly do that uh, and I will meet you when we're ready to do the sole all right so here we are I've done the six ridges of garter stitch and this is what the little baby boot looks like and if you if you put it on the cable needle and you fold it you will be able to see um, that it takes shape already and obviously you see also where you picked up the stitches um, it doesn't look much different from one side to the other now what we need to do is count twen uh, to the middle of this uh, long line of stitches, which will be 27. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27. That's the center over there. And you want to take a stitch marker again. See how useful these stitch markers are. You put it there. And now we're going to work the sole of the sock with just a couple of rows of decreases and then close it with Kitchener stitch. And that is it. So let's have a look. So on the right side, 
move your stitches to the front and you're gonna knit up to uh, two stitches before your marker So just knit 25 stitches. Nearly there. There we go. Now we're going to do an SSK. So that means slip one stitch, slip another stitch, pull your needle through both of them and knit them through the back loop. Then I'm going to slip the marker and do a knit two together. So put my needle through the second, then through the front first and knit it together. So I decrease two stitches, then I'm going to knit to the end. So that's the right side decreases. There we go. Now I'm going to turn the work and I'm going to work a purl row with purl two together on the first two stitches and purl two together on the last two stitches. So I'm going to bring the yarn forward and go through two stitches, grab my yarn and pull through. So I decreased one, then I'm going to purl all the way to two stitches left slip in the marker that I get to if you'd like to know how to knit and purl a slow motion demonstration I've got um, beginners continental knitting series so you're welcome to have a look at that When you get to your marker, just slip it and continue purling. There we go. I've got two stitches left. I'm going to pull those two stitches together. There we go. Then we're going to repeat these two um, rounds, the right side and the wrong side, the uh, rows, the right row and the wrong row two more times. And then we'll be ready to close the sock. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here we are almost at the end. I have finished the stockinette with the decreases and it made the sock a little bit round dead at the toe and at the heel, which will make it fit better. Now what we want to do is close it with the kitchener stitch. But first we need to knit all the way to our marker. So I'm going to knit um, 22 stitches. After doing your decreases you should have 44 stitches on your needles. So I'm going to knit oh, 
all the way to my marker. There we go. I'm going to remove the marker and fold the work in two like this. So now I have my yarn coming from the back needle and I have my needles parallel like this and I've got the same amount of stitches on my front and on my back needle. I'm going to cut the yarn. Oh, sorry about that. So I'm going to cut the yarn with this ginormous scissors that I have here. Then I'm going to use a tapestry needle, which is a needle with a big um, ears, we will call them, and blunt, so you don't split your stitches. Thread my needle, and then Kitchener stitch all the way to the end. If you would like a slower demonstration of the Kitchener stitch, um, check out my uh, description down below. Um, but I'm still going to show you here. So we're going to go in the first stitch as if to knit, put my needle through and pull the yarn. Then I'm going to take that stitch off. Then I'm going to go in the second stitch as if to purl. And I'm going to leave the stitch on the needle. I'm going to move to the back needle and put my needle through as if to purl. Pull the, yarn, pull the stitch off. Then I'm going to go in the second stitch as if to knit and I'm going to leave that stitch on the needle and pull your, your, your yarn but not too tight. Back as if to knit, off the needle as if to purl, leave it on as if to purl, off the needle as if to knit leave it on. We continue doing that until we've got no more stitches on our needles. This is what it looks like so far. I'm just going to speed it up now. So here we are, finished. And it's almost invisible. If you tension your yarn right and not watch through the viewfinder, then it shouldn't it should be seamless. Then what we want to do is put our sock inside out and then just stitch all the way here and that is it. So the way I usually stitch is just go in one side, in the other side and just stitch like this. Obviously you can stitch however you want. Then you get to the top and you want to make a knot with your cast on tail and the stitching yarn that you had. And then just thread both of them together through your needle and weave the ends. There we go just weave the ends, however you weave ends. I like to go in and then make a knot and then do another knot and then just cut the yarn. Oh. 
there we go and then just cut your yarn and it's finished here we go now isn't that the cutest sock ever and what I did with this one I had leftover ends from my uh, virtual yarns color work vest and I just stuffed them just because they look cute like that and there we go we've got a pair of little boots they are so cute so that's how you knit these baby boots with drops baby merino sorry upside down uh, it's very soft you can put them in the uh, washing machine because they're super wash so you don't need to worry about them felting there we go thanks for watching bye